Trafford Manchester for this great match. I'm afraid the weather is bad. It's cold, damp. There's been a lot of rain this morning. But nevertheless, a huge crowd has come here to see the big match of the day between Manchester United, who have a 100% record of success at home this season, against Chelsea, who so far have dropped just one point out of five away matches. A superb record. The crowd, a huge one, approaching the capacity of 62,500. The Manchester United side, the same team, which played in Florence in a friendly on Wednesday, one by two goals to one. And a man anxious to do well will be Alex Stepney, their goalkeeper, because he used to play for Chelsea until a few weeks ago. Now, Chelsea, they too are at full strength except for Osgood. And if Peter Osgood's looking in tonight, we hope he enjoys the game as much as we will. And number one, of course, for Chelsea, Peter Bonetti, the man who kept Alex Stepney out of a first-team place at Stamford Bridge. The referee for today's game, Mr. Callender of Richmond, a crowd of 62,500 people, all waiting to see what should be a great match of the day between Manchester United and Chelsea. There is Bobby Noble, number three, for Manchester United, this youngster, former youth team captain, will be anxious to do well. He had his first baptism of European football on Wednesday, and now Manchester United to kick off. All set Bobby Charlton, number 10, Dennis Law on the far side of him. Sadler, who's going to set the game in motion, will immediately withdraw to a midfield player as soon as the game starts. And off go Manchester United. Done. Despite the rain, the ground is in perfect condition. In fact, it's in perfect condition because of the rain. It's holding, it's taking a good start. So, conditions fine for a perfect game of football. It's still day. Chelsea playing in the all dark strip. Now, here's Cook, the dribbler of the Chelsea team. And Hollins, number four. And the Manchester United, number four, Freren, beating it. There's John Hollins. He had such a great game with England on the 23 team on Wednesday last. Wolverhampton. Sadly, you see, playing as a midfield player, Charlton. And here comes Osgood. Uh, here comes, uh, sorry, uh, Hinton. Now to Cook, number 10. Trainer has come on to have a look at McCready. Yeah, on the extreme right is McCready. And McCready all right again. The game restarts with a free kick to Manchester United. Done. Oh, this is Baldwin. And up 
that's the fact for offside cricket to access to United. Cricket to Manchester United and Chelsea have switched their fullbacks. Houseman to McCready seems to have got over the effects of his knock. Now Boyle, Boyle who normally plays back, and springboarding forward. This is the Chelsea game. Boyle going to take the free kick, uh, to, to throw in. Here's Boyle, number seven. Tripped by Sadler. John Boyle. Free kick to Manchester, uh, to Chelsea. Both these teams, expert at coming back, packing in defence, and they're bursting away quickly. This is Lord Charlton near to it. It's the quick one, two. And there was Hinton, Freddy as the sweeper then. Offside, surely, yes. Baldwin caught offside. And the Chelsea fans now giving a bit of slow hand clap to the Manchester defenders for playing an offside game. Rather undeserved. Charlton. Oh, bad one. Charlton holding his hands high in horror. This is Baldwin, and Hausman is onside. A bad mistake, but a fine tackle by Craren. Hausman, rather slay was sent through on a beautiful ball from Baldwin. And Craren must have got a bit of a knock then. Boyle playing more of an attacking game for Chelsea than I've ever seen him play in an away game this season. Foul by Cantwell on Baldwin, free kick to Chelsea. Number three is McCready. There's Boyle. Balls a law. There's Boyle. Best. It's Charlton. And the corner happily given away by Cook, number 10 for Chelsea. 15 minutes gone. Corner to Manchester United. There's no score. This is Heard to take the corner. And Law used his arms to get extra height then. There's Dennis Law. There's Boyle. Oh, ball and slow up the mark. Going to get the trembling. Oh. 
Bobby Tanling, who's in splendid goal-scoring form this season. Chelsea have opened up the Manchester defence more than once in this match so far. Styles, that is how Chelsea will not challenge in this midfield no man's land. They just withdraw to their defensive shells. doesn't think he did it. Nabi Styles with Noble on his right and Manchester United now have 11 men back in defence. And through that wall, Tamling did well to get the ball, uh, ball through. This is Sadler on the break. To Law. Best, Charlton. No kick, despite the appeal by law. Number eight is Law. Likes to be a front runner, likes to be the striker up front. Our best. To Law and his... Oh, best just couldn't make it. And that's the sort of one-two wall passing moment that can get through these defences. Styles. Charlton. Styles never stops running. Tambling. Up to help him comes Harris. Sadler, player who does a lot of useful midfield work. Cook took up a glorious position then to take that ball from Tamling. Now Tamling. Good effort by Chelsea. There's Bobby Tamling. Ten minutes left in the first half. No score. These two teams are so good that they do tend to cancel each other out. But so much goal potential, so much talent on the field that one feels certain that we're bound to have a score before long. Maybe now with Law. Sadler. Charles and oh, and nearly an out goal by Holland. Number eight, 
Law. Now it's Charlton moving forward. It's heard. Charlton on his right foot, a direct from him. And a goal by Doe. And a miss by Best. Sadler the man who hit the post. And it all... Yes, Sadler the boy who hit the post. Charlton the man who shot started it all. Crowd still buzzing from that incident. Still an awful lot for the crowd to buzz about in this match. A law beginning to bubble and effervesce. It's the sort of situation he loves. Charlton. Great stop by Hinton. Chelsea breaking, Cook. And he saw the line through the signal, came off Cook's foot. Almost half time now. Our best. Beautiful artist he is. And Hinton's first mistake of the match. Corner to Manchester United. Third. of Stockport County and Arsenal and of course of Scotland uh, playing injury time now in the first half no score and it's Cook for Chelsea Charlton Freren pounding up on his right and again, a brilliant stop by Hinton. Having a great match. Will go for half time any second. In fact, it goes now. And the score sheet Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. Right, and so this has been the sort of first half we would expect between two fine sides like Manchester United and Chelsea. At the moment, the defences have been on top. It's been hard for the forwards to get through, although they have been creating some chances. But although it's no score at half time, I've still got a feeling that in this second half, one of these two teams, if not both, are going to break out in a rash of goals. Chelsea to kick off in the second half. Number 10 is Cook. And the second half, anything like as good as the first, nobody will grumble. Now, Boyle. Number 8 is Houseman. Ellie Fox stepped in, didn't it? Now it's 
best. And Hollins coming away for Chelsea. Well, kept in by number eight, Houseman. Now McCready. Sadler pointing her. Sadler on the left at his best. To Sadler. And it's Harbinet has come about five yards out of his goal. That line is six yards from the goal. And that's Sadler. Number four, Prera. We now flash Chelsea. It's Cook. Not a bad one. A very accurate passer of the ball, Cook. Best. Law. Five minutes of the second half gone. No score. Lots of good football, lots of incident. Foul by Boyle. Clipping, prayer and legs from under him. Styles with the free kick. Perrin and Styles then. Baldwin in the middle. Oh, no goal by Perrin. <laughs> There's Boyle, the man who shot, but the ball hit Perrin. And to nil then Chelsea take the lead and Boyle perhaps the scorer or the really fair and own goal and the corner I think that game is really going to boil over. Remember, Chelsea have not lost away, Manchester United not lost at home. Rare and Cantwell, and now Sadler can equalize. Great goalkeeper, Benetti is. Splendid clearance to Hollins. Tambling. Boyle to Hollins. Houseman. Cook. Uh, Houseman. Best. Charlton up with him. Law there and Hurt pounding up on the right wing.
Corner kick. Ah, oh, good effort by George Best. And somebody's hurt. McCready is hurt. Number three, McCready, all right again. And it's a corner to Manchester United. Going to be taken by Hurd. Like McCready, a Scottish international. Here comes Cook. Houseman is timely moving forward. Baldwin, 10 minutes of the second half gone. Chelsea leads Manchester United 1 0. And I think McCready is going to come off. Alan Harris, the Chelsea substitute, is stripping. Tommy Dockett has gone down onto the trainer's bench. Now it's Charlton. See McCready, number three, not looking happy at all. Now, Styles. Yes, McCready is going to come off. McCready comes off, and Alan Harris comes off. And number 12, Alan Harris. And McCready goes off. Alan Harris, who's come on, has had a strange career. He's the brother of the Chelsea number six and captain. And he was transferred from Chelsea to Coventry City for £35,000. And towards the end of last season, Chelsea brought him back again. Goal kick to Chelsea. Third with the corner for Manchester United. And again, into getting it clear. Tampling. Now, Hasman and Chelsea begin to move freely away from defence. Back come United, it's Charlton. Acrobatics. Splendid stuff, isn't it? There's David Hurd. 20 minutes gone. 1-0. And 1-0 Chelsea lead, and Johnny Hollins is having trouble with his boot. Oh. Hollins' boot all right again. Number nine, Baldwin. It's 
that's developing to the same pattern as all Chelsea's away matches. Now it's the opposition, Manchester United in this case, coming forward to Chelsea. Boyle to Houseman. Number five is Cantwell. United. Number four, Clarend. Style. And it never runs out of steam. Oh, I wonder what Nobby Style said to himself then. A cook. I haven't seen him for a few minutes. Baldwin. Here comes Cook, the man who can slow the game down or quicken it up at will. Tremendous player. Number eight, Houseman. Cook having a fantastic match. I've never seen him playing back so much, but always bobbing up when he's needed. Ball in and tackling is well offside. Law comes Noble. Chelsea now have ten men back in defence. Ten men doing the ball on the Chelsea goal. Cantwell moving up. Noel Cantwell just got back into the Manchester side. Now I wonder what tactical change we're going to see from Manchester United. Matt Busby has now moved to have a word with. Jackie Crumpton, the trainer, and he's now sitting on the trainer's bench. Here's Collins from Chelsea. Oh, a lovely ball to Baldwin. Now Boyle. Oh, another deflection this time from Dunn. Crafty move there by Jackie Crumpton. He's just handed them. 
heard some cotton wool and I think passed a message to him. Charlton. Good effort by Sadler. Uh, Houseman, big chase by Best. Baldwin in the middle for Chelsea. And a goal, no! Stepney knew very little about that. There's Matt Busby in the Trilby hat. Next to him, Jackie Crompton, the Manchester United trainer. Charlie Cook, real general. That was the sort of act of a private, though, wasn't it? A man of a private who's not in line for promotion. Now it's Charlton. Heard moving into the middle. He's got Law moving forward. This is Law. Picked up a tremendous divot there. And again, it's Hinton that Styles came in. And Law going to Harris. Foul by Harris, by Alan Harris, on best. And there's brother Ron Harris trying to quiet it all down. And number 11 best takes the free kick. And everybody's twisted. Law, Cantwell, who was the third, heard. And David Heard, he was the third to miss it. from the end, Law has equalised. <laughs> Dennis Law, the man who sent the red and white scarves are waving. One goal each. 12 minutes left. Oh, what a rip rolling 12 minutes we're in for now. Remember, Manchester United have won every match at home this season. Chelsea have not lost away. And Cantwell to Perrin. Now Tamling. Tamling to Hausman. Played Stepney. This is magnificent stuff. Law. Out ahead. Ten minutes left. One each. Charlton for Manchester United. Demon tackle this boy in defence. Now to Claren. Claren to 
again now for Sadler. A great shot, a wonderful save. An incredible save by Benetti. No wonder Sadler looks shocked. How, how Benetti got a finger to it. Charlton to take the corner for Manchester United. Free kick kept, yes. A foul on, Styles by Hausman. Perrin going to take the free kick. it back to him and he's got it directing the defensive operation as Cook prepares to take the corner for Chelsea. Number seven is Boyle. Trying to kid on that it's going to be a short corner. Oh, a bad one by Cook. And here comes Styles. United best Guerin coming in offside from the left free kick for Chelsea as Benetti had a splendid match there'll be some Chewed fingernails in Manchester and among the Chelsea supporters tonight. Collins for Chelsea. One minute to go and a corner to Chelsea. The score, one each. Styles the general and Seth Boyle is a man to watch. Tattling with the corner for Chelsea. And Law. And Law coming away. Now the best. Styles. Charlton. Head just. Charlton's left, there's help, and there's Benetti. We're now playing the time, added on for injuries. It looks as if Manchester United, although still unbeaten at home, have lost their 100% home record. Only be seconds left for play. Sadler, Claren hanging back, this is Claren. 
Our best referee watch in hand is looking at those seconds ticking away. Kerkup. Now best. To Treran, he's got no time. The whistle goes. The match is all over. A great match. Ends one goal each. And what a pity they don't play extra time in league matches. A fantastic match between these two great teams. A draw one each. Honour perhaps satisfied. Chelsea still unbeaten away from home. Manchester United still unbeaten at home. But they've lost their 100% record. And look at Styles and Tamling. That's the spirit of this match. Arm in arm. And Ron Harry's going to congratulate Styles. His best. Number 10, Cook. And the two goalkeepers. A few weeks ago, colleagues at Stamford Bridge. So the end of a great match, a match we'll remember for a long, long time, watched by nearly 57,000 spectators, ends as it should have done, all square, one inch. Yes, that was a truly splendid game, just the sort of football we expected from these two great sides. And I'm sure that the Manchester United and Chelsea supporters, who were privileged enough to see it, will talk about it for a long, long time. Now, the news about Eddie McCready is that he isn't seriously hurt. The damage is to his calf muscle, but he should be fit pretty quickly. So, nothing to worry about with Eddie McCready. At long last, the First Division home teams have had a good day. Eight of the 11 won. Only one of them got beaten. That was Tottenham Hotspur, who were beaten by Blackpool, who thereby gained their first victory of the season. Incidentally, only 11 draws on the coupons today in all the divisions. Now, Blackpool's victory meant that Spurs lost their 100% home record and that it was a sad debut for 21-year-old Roy Brown in the Tottenham goal. He was beaten three times. Two of the goals came from Ray Charley, Blackpool's international centre-forward, who had a great match, and his second goal was a beautiful solo effort right at the very end. Leicester City had gone 12 matches without defeat, and then they came a cropper in their 13th against Burnley at Turf Moor. They found Burnley in magnificent form, and their hero was Ralph Coates, who made the first three goals and scored the fourth himself. And Burnley were in sparkling form to win five goals to two. Another man in sparkling form is Alan Clark, the Fulham forward. He got another two goals today for Fulham in their 4-2 victory over West Ham United. And he's now got 11 goals in his last five games. Incidentally, this was Fulham's first home win of the season. And they got it against the other team of the first division, West Ham, who also can't win at home. But Stoke City go rumbling on, playing magnificent football, and although Ron Davis, the Welsh international, got two goals for Southampton, Stoke beat Southampton by three goals to two. One of their goal scorers was Peter Dobing, who has been on the transfer list, but now happily settled his dispute with the club. He came along with a goal for Stoke City, and this victory has put Stoke on top of the first division with 18 points. They're clear ahead of Chelsea, Burnley and Spurs, or second, third and fourth in that order, with 17 points each. Finally, if we can just move out of the first division and give congratulations to second division Millwall, who today drew at home and therefore established a new post-war record of 53 home games without defeat. They need just two more home games without defeat to equal the all-time Football League record. So, well done, Millwall. The result, once again, of the match of the day, Manchester United won, Chelsea won, a truly sparkling game, and we'll be with you again next Saturday when we'll have another top football match for you in Match of the Day, so I hope you'll join us then. Until then, good night.